This is Ken Pyle with VOD TV. We're with uh, Matt Sloan of Daniel Island. Uh, tell us about Daniel Island and it's the master plan community. <laughs> Daniel Island is a 4,000 acre island in the middle of the Charleston Harbor. Uh, it's um, in active development now. It's been in active development since the mid-1990s. There are presently 3,000 or so homes here of all different sizes, shapes, and forms. Um, there are approximately 8,000 people in residence here. Um, we have several thousand more homes that can be built here uh, if the market will bear it. And it is a master plan community, so this is something you uh, had a lot of foresight, you know, 20 some odd years ago. It's mixed use, you know, business is a little downtown here. Yeah, the, the goal of the community uh, was to become an extension of the city of Charleston. And uh, what, when we met with the mayor early on, uh, it was clear that what the city needed was a, a place for upper end bedroom communities to grow, a place for businesses to grow, a place for large events to grow. Um, so in some way, shape or form, when we're done, hopefully everything that you uh, come in touch with in a small town experience will, will be here on Daniel Island. Well, and you guys were visionaries uh, because I remember in the 90s, uh, things about fiber to the home and so forth, and, and, and you guys did have fiber to the home. And so why don't you tell us a little bit about that history? It became a priority early on. We felt that it would be a differentiator um, for this community. Uh, there were some questions at the time as to how coax would perform in a large plant community environment and how much bandwidth you can get. And ba at the time, bandwidth was just entering the lexicon, so to speak. And um, we had seen some early deployments of, of fiber to the home technology around the country. Nobody was doing that in Charleston. And uh, we wanted to make sure that that was part of the infrastructure network here. And you tried to go with some of the larger operators. You ended up doing it on your own? Uh, yeah, uh, we ended up, sometimes in our business, um, if you're not able to get the services provided for by others, you end up doing it yourself. Uh, there are people around the country with my job that are ending up in the water and sewer business, as an example, because they couldn't get, get services run that way. Uh, we ventured into it um, with our own small technology company. Um, it quickly became clear that it needed 100% focus and energy and, and that the world was changing and technology was changing. And if it was just a sideline business for us, we were not going to be able to keep up. Um, which is how we ended up in our discussions with home and they came into the community as our technology partner back in 2004. And they literally are here. We're, we're in their office here. And uh, this is across the street. So. And how is that working with uh, a local presence as well? It's incredibly easy. Um, uh, the number of customer service issues that arise is so negligible. Um, it, it, you know, I'm not even aware of any. From our standpoint, um, early on we had to do some marrying with the builders. You know, back in 2004, wireless was much less prevalent mm -hmm. than it is now. Um, so we were into a whole structured wiring platform with the home builders and we needed to make sure that the home was designed and wired so that when, when home telco, when, when home got to it um, with their platform, the house was designed to accommodate it. Now with the world of wireless being what it is, uh, it's, it's almost in an autopilot kind of situation. Well, and how does their ability to go in and kind of uh, help the customer with kind of that whole home network, the whole home theater, uh, how does that impact uh, you know you and the developments? Well, this is a, this is an upscale community, and and they provide an upscale service, and the needs of the, the residents and the businesses. We shouldn't forget about that. There's there's a very large number of businesses that make their home here. They're actually two of the largest um, uh, technology companies in Charleston are headquartered here, and so the home bandwidth and the home services, which vary by user, um, are, are a very important part of, of what we do. Well, in uh, speaking of the bandwidth, how has the perception of bandwidth and more importantly, maybe the perception of having fiber in the home and to the home changed, uh, you know, with both the homeowner and the developer over the years? It was, you know, it, it was extremely unique when we started. Um, it's more commonplace in Charleston now, home provides it in other communities mm -hmm. uh, by way of example. For the average person, they probably don't think about it, but when you get users that are technology driven where their business depends on it, if you have a, uh, you know, a radiologist that uh, wants to work from home from time to time and needs to be able to get into, into their system and, 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 and look at a detailed x-ray as an example, we have a lot of entrepreneurs in this community. We have a lot of people who sort of work all over the world, but they work from their home or their office here. Um, and so homes are connection to the outside world. And so are you uh, seeing it in real economic impact, uh, just helping this development develop? It, it's, it's, you know, when we sell real estate, we have lots of, uh, lots of arrows in the quiver, and this is one of them. Mm -hmm. and, and as I said, for the average person, they probably don't think about it. They just want their service to work, but, but it's pretty easy to spot somebody who this is important to. And if they come in and say, well, this is my business. There are also users that end up here, particularly businesses, because they know that home is here and they know that the bandwidth is here. I'm speaking with a company right now that will not look anywhere else unless it's on the home data stream. 
you, you talk about the business uh, customers, and one of the things that I noticed here, they have this uh, newsletter specifically for businesses and, and how to help improve their businesses. Yeah, it's pretty impressive in terms of what they've done with uh, helping these businesses uh, develop. Um, you know, what else have you seen in that regard? Um, well, all of the businesses are technology minded um, and having um, service that's reliable, that, that does not get interrupted, um, that can survive a lightning storm. You know, we're, we're mm -hmm. in a, a thunderstorm prone area here um, that doesn't have corrosion issues, which the fiber does not compare to the, the coax solutions that other communities have. That's extremely important. Um, I know for my business, since we've switched over to home, our service reliability has increased you know, dramatically from what we had before. Well, in speaking of services, uh, fiber allows you to do a lot more. And, uh, you know, we mentioned some of the work at home, but what about some of the other services they offer? You know, when we first got started with home, video on demand was not part of people's vocabulary. And now it's a must. Um, and, you know, ho home offers, uh, first of all, they offer wonderful phone service. Uh, we're, we're customers of theirs. Um, and then the, uh, the video on demand services that are provided here, as well as the general um, uh, video services, and being able to have it bundled and being able to have a retail outlet right here in the middle of the community mm -hmm. are, are all very important selling points. And I assume, you know, we've got the home security as well and wireless and, and so forth. Mm -hmm. What a nice thing is our, our, our information center where the vast majority of the real estate transactions occurs right down the street. Uh, when you leave it, you go right past this building and it, the notion that a consumer can purchase a home and as part of wrapping up the process, stop by this office here and get whatever services they need, be it home security, be it, um, be it um, television, be it phone, uh, and, and whatever level of bandwidth they need. It's just an important part of our sales proposition. Well, and from a, a business perspective, um, you know, you talked about working with some of the larger companies in the past, but uh, now you're working local to local. Yeah, I, I, we started out our life working with Bell South, um, which had a very bureaucratic structure and approvals were very difficult. And this is such a contrast. We're getting world-class technology from a world-class provider, but, but, but it's dealing with a small company. Uh, as the owner of my business, I'm actually able to deal direct with the owner of, of home, uh, which is very, very nice. Excellent. So uh, it sounds like uh, you know, you've brought fiber to the home in, in Daniel Island, and it's been a great experience for everyone. You know, we started it and then uh, quickly realized we needed to have a technology partner, and now um, it's become one of those things. It's 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 automatic, and Home has done a great job with it, and I'm pleased that they're receiving recognition. Well, Matt, appreciate your time today, and good luck with the uh, continuing in the build out. Thank you.